Let's be honest. Racial. If you were if he was Trayvon was white and he had a hoodie on, would that happen? The jury never really discussed race as being a motivating factor here. I imagine they're white. Well, one one Hispanic. I would like them to tell me one case that white people think is about race because white people always say this isn't about color, this isn't about race. Nothing is about race according to white people in America. I told her I might have been a rapist. Parents need to stop acting dumb. If you're going to tell your child, oh, when you stare a stranger, oh, you tell your child one thing, run away, trying to find somebody. That's not what Trayvon was doing. Back with my co-host, Samantha Shocker. That, of course, was Rachel Gentile, Trayvon Martin's friend. The George Zimmerman trial reopened, I, want to, I guess I'll say wounds, exposed racial divides, bring, brought the topic up. Whether the right. case itself was about race or not, certainly race issues have been evoked. Do you agree, Sam? I agree. I think it's racially charged, politically charged, emotionally charged. Yeah, emotionally charged. And that, that's kind of where I want to keep it, because I think we hear each other when we talk about the emotional charge that race issues trigger. Back with social commentator Shahrazad Ali, attorney Mark Iglarsh, radio show host Brian Copeland. Joining us, George Zimmerman's friend and supporter, Frank Taffy. Now, Frank, you don't think Rachel made good points about race, do you? You know, I got a problem with Rachel, and here's the deal. Um, Shelly Zimmerman, George's wife, was arrested for lying under oath. And yet, Rachel Gentile, uh, on two separate occasions, under oath to the state attorney's office, uh, perjured herself. But yet, we want to talk about a dual standard here, yet Shelley was arrested for perjury, but Ra Miss Rachel or Miss Precious or Miss hey, Diamond, hey, whatever hey, she easy. goes she by. Uh, excuse come me. on, yeah. Frank. Excuse You're back. Come on, Ms. Frank. Gentile. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Let me finish and make my point. Shelley was arrested for perjury, and Miss Diamond Eugene, Rachel Gentile, went on record and said that she did lie under oath, but yet she wasn't arrested? Come on, I want to hear your response. Miss Ali. Why wasn't she Ms. arrested? Miss Ali then Mark. Perjury is perjury. Yeah. Perjury I, is perjury. I want to respond. Go ahead. No, oh, I she definitely didn't lie? want to respond to that. As as, listen to me. As it. black people, we are a victim of educational fraud. Every history book in this country is a You're, lie. Everything that has been lied. written about she's who did liar. what, who invented she what, lied. has been a lie. So she don't talk to me about lying, because y'all are the biggest liars on the planet. Trayvon was going back to whoop that ass. Okay, she hold on. Trayvon was going back to whoop that ass. Frank, hold on a second. Mark, help me. Well, I first have to find something intelligent to respond to, and um, well, the Frank is saying that I think I heard. Perjury. Frank is saying that he he's okay. aware of some perjury that was not okay. prosecuted. All right, I'll respond to that. Okay. All right, fair enough. First of all, welcome to my world. For 21 years, almost every single day in every single courtroom, in depositions and hearings, there's somebody who lies. If the prosecutor yep. prosecuted every single person who did that, the system Twice, would overflow. Mark. Twice. It is a valid Show point. I'm not once. done, Frank. It, Shelley lied Frank, once, I'm making Mark, a point. and she was arrested. I, I did not interrupt you. Could you just stop for a second? Let me make my point. Go. The prosecutors, the prosecutors obviously select which cases they want to bring and which they do not. They have that ability to do so. Is it fair? No, it's not. Frank makes a fairly valid point. Yeah. Brian, what do you think about that? Thank you, Mark. Well, I, 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 I from uh, attorney friends I know and in cases I've had a chance to look into, you know, he's absolutely right that in every single case, I mean, you look at divorce cases, I mean, look at civil cases, somebody's always lying. And we're if talking they about this every, one. Let's talk about this one. We're talking one. about this, this, this particular case. I am not. Let's talk about this one, Frank. People. Hey, hey, you know what, Jesus. Frank? Can you stop auditioning for a Fox gig for 10 seconds to let somebody else talk? Do you <laughs> mind? Go, go, Brian, I go. I told you, you're not going to bully me. Go, Brian. Go ahead. 
All right, but anyway, the bottom line here is, is that's the way you really, feel, I man. Find it offensive. I find it very offensive that Frank says it isn't about race when he. You heard what he does. He race baits every chance he gets. Right. I've seen your Twitter account. You guys Frank, bring up the race. There's going to be a hundred cities Excuse me, Frank. I seen your Mr. I have Zimmerman seen your Twitter account tomorrow. I have seen. Something I have seen. Can I say something here again? You're not going to shout me down. Go ahead. I want to hear seen, what you say. I have Brian. seen you your Twitter account. On your Twitter account, you've called African Americans cotton. Pickers. On your Twitter account, you have told black people that they're using Negro logic. On your Twitter account, you told people to stop talking bro. because you're going to go and hey, watch Hey, bro, groups. you don't know what you're talking about, bro. Well, what do you mean, Frank? What do you mean? If that was out of your Twitter account or not? I, no, it was not. I have it. I have the printouts. I, I have the not. printouts. I have the printouts. I don't care what you got, them. man. Do we really you know want to just... You ain't got it. This ain't a court of law, buddy. Okay, okay? Frank, hold on a just second. Just bring it, bro. Miss Ali, you got your hand nicely held up there. I want to go to you. Yes, I wanted to go back to the line part. Okay. We, as black people, have been victimized by educational fraud. Every history book in this country is a lie about us. It doesn't tell the truth of what we have accomplished. It doesn't tell the truth about who built what. We built the White House. We laid out Washington, D.C. Black people have done a lot of things, and we do not get recognition or credit for hey, anything Ali, we have contributed the 13th to this Amendment. country. It was approved by Congress on January 31st, 1865, the 13th no, Amendment. It's called it the Cave. The Where it's you called been? the Cave. And some Amendment. of y'all, we should have left it. Up. If I'm lying, I'm dying. Miss Ali, what, what is it you're referring to specifically? Can we you can, can only you, hope, Frank? Can, hang, Miss Ali, what what is specific? Because I don't want to get 13th Amendment. Hang on, Frank. One three. Look hang at the histories. Because because I I, I kind of disagree with uh, you. I think people are doing every effort to be accurate about this. No, we have never had an accurate history in America, and that's one of the problems that we are angry about. The books tell lies, uh, even let, about let me, what let me, has been let, Ms. Ali, let me interrupt in you. Egypt. Let me interrupt you and just say, maybe the mythology of America is wrong. The history books, the genuine history books, are probably close to right, close. I mean, you're right, history has its own distortions. No! But our, but our mythology is wrong. I would agree with well, you on that. Well, can I ask Ms. Ali a question? Yeah. Yes, go ahead, Mark. The question. unicorns and crop circles. If, if we're talking about... If we're talking about history books being inaccurate, I'd like to ask you one question. I need no judgment, and all I need is a yes or no. I want to ask you about your book, Miss Ali. I don't have the to answer your question. The book that you have been trying to sell. Well, I'm going to ask it, and then we'll just see. The book that you're trying to sell on this show, yes I've or no, do you sell. say the following? <laughs> black women have smaller finish, brains than black men. And secondly... If a black woman ignores the black man's authority, the black man needs to take control and slap her in the mouth. Wow. Yes or no, is that oh. from your book? Wow. Now, I think Sounds he ought like to slap OJ you in the mouth. But here's the point. Sounds like OJ Here to me. Here is the point. Sounds like hey, OJ hey, to me. Frank, your please, man. Your Mark, own Ms. Ali, go. Go ahead. Well, let me answer. Go is ahead. that a yes or a no? Your own doctor, yes no. Dr. John Gray, yes no. talks about the fact that the man's brain is 10% larger than the female's brain. Yeah, but the brain size brain doesn't correlate with intelligence, guys. Listen, doctor. listen, listen, guys. We're getting way off topic. This is so off topic. Yeah, Can we Samantha. focus on the case here? This is ridiculous, wow. you guys. Well, it's not ridiculous because we started this evening talking well, about... trying to get that dig in. Well, we're talking, we're talking this evening talking about the way... It was a yes or no question. Well, I, I, I'd rather attack the well, male brain. I think that's an easier case to make than where we've gone here. So, <laughs> so but the, but the, the fact is we started this evening trying to talk about a meaningful you conversation. You know you're going to pay for that, Mark. About the feelings associated with race. And that's where I'm trying to keep it. I guess that'd be a it. yes. I'll Those are your words? I'll pay you it. advocate smacking in the mouth? I, I'm just asking. Yes? I mean, I, I didn't get a no, yes or no answer. I advocate sending you back to the cave. Fair enough. Fair enough. That was I advocate whoa. sending hey, Mark. Mark back to the cave along Peace with the Let's Peace go, love. guys. Let's easy, easy. You two talk amongst yourselves. Bri yeah. Brian, would you like to take me home? Play nice. Play no, nice. Brian, you, I'll give you a chance to take me home. Brian, go. A chance, opportunity to take you home. Yeah. Uh, a bottom line here is, is that what the, if, if you want to look at this case and what it's done to America, it has given us an opportunity to discuss race relations in a real, honest, and truthful manner. Now, whether or not we can get above all of the yelling and all of the emotion and all the vitriol, that remains to be seen. But there is an opportunity. I How's agree. That, that was that, and I, if you see how even we try to have these conversations, we get off the rail pretty easily. I apologize for that, but we, I still think it's worth the effort of right. trying to have these conversations. Thank you, panel. Next up. Very excited to welcome expert witness from the Jody Arias case, Janine DeMarte. She's here exclusively. She joins our Behavior Bureau. There she is. And later, Jody Arias back in court today. When will that trial end?
More after this.